And it's a good example of where I think they turn people off. So a lot of the cybersecurity students, I'll tell them, you know, hey, like, I don't need you to be a network engineer. You don't ever have to do what I used to do. I don't even think the job I used to do should exist the way that it used to exist. But you do need to understand how systems communicate. Like, you should be able to, to read a packet capture and tell what's going on. And I think one of the things that schools do that turns people off from that is they'll, they'll do like a CCNA course type of material yeah. and dig into the OSI. And for a cybersecurity person that may have no interest in network engineering, that's not fun, right? And it's, it's not engaging and it doesn't click. It doesn't help me make sense. So one of the things, you know, all the way back to your earliest question, one of the things that I, I value something on a, a resume would be something like uh, anti-siphon training has their SOC core skills class, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And I love that class. I don't like what they call it because it's, to me, it's not even, that's a misnomer and it sort of undersells the value of the class. You know, it's 16 hours, half days, you know, four hours a day, four days in a row, lecture lab, lecture lab, lecture lab, all open source tooling. Mm 